वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल सेवल इंजीनियरिंग इजी आई एम इंजीनियर शहजाद टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन ऑफ द शॉर्ट न्यूमेरिकल एग्जाम्पल रिलेटेड टू द डिजाइन ऑफ शाफ्ट अ शाफ्ट इज द रोटेटरी मेम्बर यूजली ऑफ अ सर्कुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन सॉलिड और हलो विच ट्रांसमिट पावर्स एंड रोटेशन मोशन लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द न्यूमेरिकल फर्स्ट अ शाफ्ट इज सब्जेक्टेड टू अ बेंडिंग मोमेंट एम एंड अ टॉर टी दैट इज अ ट्वेस्टिंग मोमेंट और टॉर्जनल मोमेंट it is required to find out the ratio of the maximum bending stress to maximum shear stress developed in a shaft its option is given that a is m by t b is t by m c is 2 m by t and d is 2 t by m let's consider a shaft subjected to a bending moment only when a shaft is subjected to power bending load the principal stress and use in shaft are tension and compression The maximum stress induced in the shaft is determined by the theory of simple bending. The equation for the maximum stress can be used as m by i is equal to sigma b by y. Separate the sigma b from the equation that will be equal to m y divided by i where m is the bending moment applied on the shaft and measured in newton millimeter. I is the moment of inertia about the axis of rotation and measured in mm power 4. For a solid circular shaft, the moment of inertia will be equal to pi divided by 64 into d power 4. And y is the distance of outer fiber from the neutral axis that will be equal to d by 2. By putting the value of y and i in the equation, we will get the sigma b will be equal to m multiply by d by 2. Divided by the value of i is pi divided by 64 into d power 4. By simplification, we will get the sigma b will be equal to 32 m divided by pi into d power 3. The maximum bending stresses when the shaft subjected to bending moment only is 32 m divided by pi into d power 3. Now consider when a shaft is subjected to power twisting moment only. we will use the torsional equation that is t divided by j is equal to tau divided by r where t is the twisting moment or torque acting upon the shaft where j is the polar moment of inertia of the shaft about the axis of rotation that will be equal to pi d power 4 divided by 32 where tau is the torsional shear stress r is the distance of neutral axis to outermost fiber that in the case of circular section that will be equal to d divided by 2 where d is the diameter of the shaft by putting the value of g and r in the equation 2 we will get t divided by pi divided by 32 and 2d power 4 that will be equal to ta divided by the value of r is d by 2 by simplification we will get the shear stresses is equal to 16 multiply t divided by pi into d power 3 also we have calculated the equation when a shaft is subjected to a bending moment only is the bending stresses is equal to 32m divided by pi into d power 3 Let's calculate the ratio of the maximum bending stresses to maximum shear stresses that will be equal to the bending stress is 32m divided by pi into d power 3 divided by the value of shear stress is 16t divided by pi into d power 3 by simplification we will get the ratio of maximum bending stresses to shear stress is equal to 2m divided by t that was all about the shaft design see you in the next video Oh, 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 oh,